grand rising good day and good night i hope you all are doing well welcome to my channel welcome to 144 from the stars tarot before we get started on today's message, we're going to go ahead and give Odin something tasty. He is eagerly waiting for his treat. Thank you very much. All right, before we get started on Tarot, I think we're going to pull an Oracle card and see what's going on. Because intuitively, I am feeling the energy of, and I feel like this has to do with Lionsgate Portal. I feel like someone is about to enter a new path where circumstances and energies that you were previously dealing with are no more. And I feel like what's being left behind is people being able to lie or be sneaky or cloak their energy or be false or like it, it's like what I'm getting is it's almost like where you are headed, people are being forced to um, be true to themselves around you. Now, that's profound because that means, you know, people are going to end up having to be more honest with themselves, more honest to you. Um, I feel like there's going to be more clarity in your life. I feel like there's going to be almost like, oh, this is interesting. And I feel like it's because you've raised the bar. You've raised the standard through your own self expression and you, the like way you show up in the world, you're really a leader. Even if you don't feel like you're a leader, I mean, spiritually, you're coming off as a leader because what I see is someone that is picking up their torch and they're making a way. And this way may be a way out of no way. This way may be a way no one has ever thought of or done before. This way may be a way that has many obstacles and barriers and blockages that it would have took a very um, strong individual to be able to push through them or overcome them or navigate them with ease. So something about that, something about a change that is coming in your life is that there's more light is what I'm seeing. It's like... It's almost like as if shadow can't really be shadow because there's so much light in your life, it's already illuminated to be what it is. So there's no doubts, there's no second guessing, there's no having to wonder, is this person being genuine or not? No, like they are kind of being forced to stand in their own authenticity. And even if their own authenticity is that they don't have good intentions or they have it, I'm kind of getting the energy of like, maybe um, you might even be experiencing here coming up soon. You may already be seeing signs of this because we are already in this portal energy. And I feel like this has to do with an effect of this um, AA8 portal is what I'm getting. And I feel like one of the effects of this um, portal for someone in the collective is that you're going to see individuals be more honest with themselves, and you may already see this. And what I mean by that is like your friends, your families, your coworkers, people around you, strangers, your enemies. And you may even see people start who were previously in a very different energy switching up to something more repentful or honest or as seeking like forgiveness or you might see that individuals are having the intention of redeeming themselves and this is very different because previously you couldn't get them to get that damn shovel out their hands they just kept digging their hole all right let's pull some oracle wow that came out fast i didn't even have a chance to do nothing fork in the road yeah 13 energy as well mm-hmm I feel like um, you're changing the direction, of course, in your life because you have under... I, I really feel like this is also because of a, a lot of purge. Yeah, that I split that deck to that chop wood. And that energy came out not too long ago. I really feel like this has to do with all the inner work that you have done on yourself. All this purging, all this releasing, all these heavy like integrations of the solar flares, the, the load on your body, the load on your psyche and your heart. It has not been all for naught. You have purged and transmuted and cleansed so much heavier, denser energy that is no longer going to come with you in the new life that I see ahead of you. And it kind of seems like there's a bit of a bifurcation as well. Like it's like, yeah, things are going to have to go their own way. 
And the way you're going is the path of truth, the path of light. And those that do not hold that in their heart like you do are not allowed to be on your path. That's a blessing. That's a huge blessing. I feel like peace is going to come in your life. And this is like a much needed reprieve. Yeah, round and round, reverse. The cycle is over. Oh, thank goodness. Wow, and that was a lot. Feeling this energy, like I had to kind of tap into like a, a, a past energy or the residual of something that's closed out. That was a lot. So I'm glad that closed out for you. I feel like that included like so much. So like all this purging and cleansing you did has allowed you to uh, cleanse your magnet in your aura, if that makes sense. Like what you attract now is of a higher vibration. And this is going to change the simulated experience of your mind. Mm, okay, let's go ahead. Let's get started on some Tarot. Just split the deck to strength and then Prince of Swords. Some of you may have had to really rely on your strength in order to speak your truth despite whatever was uh, pent up against you. And you doing that, whether that was just you speaking your truth on your own and behind closed doors, or you had to speak it to someone in some kind of way, shape, or form, you had to be strong and stand in your truth. Mm-hmm. Okay. What about this Five of Pentacles that's coming out? There's a tower to it. Exactly. And that's what I felt. That's why I was like, I didn't even trip when I saw that Five of Pentacles or this Five of Wands. Because this is what's being left behind. That's why it's being sandwiched by this tower. Any kind of Five or Five, whether it be Five of Wands or Five of Pentacles, you know, if you have been lacked or in, unstable or dealing with conflict, dealing with competition, dealing with jealousy, dealing with... People that have been trying to make your life more difficult or whatever, that's going to come to a, a brief um, halt. Like it's it's like a screeching energy. It's it stops. It stops everything. We're redirecting. I also feel like this is an effect of um, a reset energy I recently was talking about in that last live I did. Um, I discussed about how I felt like there was a recent like reset on um, our collective on the globe right now. And it, it's affecting us in many different ways. But one of the effects is this reset allowed you. So you had all this like oh, almost like turbulent, violent, almost energy coming through you. It was it was aggressive. It was rough. It was dark. It was emotional. It was like jerking you around like it was you were really transmuting a lot but that was so good of you to do. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so glad you did that. You were doing more than you realized. You weren't just transmuting your energy. You were transmuting the problem. Damn. You, you out-vibed it. It's like you took your awareness and you integrated it. And then like you, oh, this is masterful. This is, I love that energy. You could teach a lot. Okay, Wheel of Fortune, yeah. We're entering a new cycle. So after this tower and this conflict, this lack, this competition, the jealousy, the enemies, people are being forced to be honest. People are being forced to come correct. What do we have now? Exactly. Now we have the Six of Wands. You have successfully built this foundation for yourself. This new energetic platform for you to stand on is because you raised the standard in your own life. You were an example of the new standard you expected in life. And it's going to manifest. Mm-hmm. Devil at the bottom of the deck, of course. But you standing on top of him. Probably grasping for air with your foot on his neck. It's kind of the way I see it. But whatever. Let's go. Lovers. Exactly. Yes. Because if it's not love, why is it here? Oh, this is someone that transmuted so much dark energy. It, this could have been like, oh, I, I'm really getting it's it's everything. It's dimensional. Like, I can't really categorize it as one thing because, yes, it was that, but it was also so much more than that. And you released it with love. And then you replaced it 
with love. You like, oh my gosh. So you like, you brought the awareness in and then you brought it in, you pulled it in, you felt it, you like transmuted it, you harnessed it and then you released it and then replaced it, cutting the cords from it with love. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, six of wands at the bottom of the deck. Six, six energy. Things are coming back into balance and harmony. I really feel that so strong. Like peace and harmony on the land amongst the people in your life. Uh, I kind of feel like, you know, people that are unable to meet the new standard are being forced to go another way. And remember that new standard I said had a lot to do with truth and honesty. If they are not going to be honest with themselves and come to you with like transparency or truth... They're not allowed to come towards you. So you may see the individuals that used to have some lower vibrational energy or were in karmic energy, but they're still somehow approaching in some kind of way. You may notice a change in their approach. God is so good. I feel like you transmuting all of this did a lot of work in other people's hearts. We're all connected. I have healed myself and witnessed it improve the lives of family members and friends around me. Just me healing myself. I have witnessed it uplift the spirits of people around me. And I'm seeing this in your life. I'm seeing your healing, your integration, your transmutation, this whole like purging cleanse and this reset and then this raising the standard and replacing it all with love like you're changing the world. This really feels like you're shifting timelines. You're shifting a timeline to a new reality where before you were dealing with all these masks, all this karmic energy and people being shape shifty and, you know, shady as hell. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Those individuals are not allowed to be anywhere near you anymore. Wow, it's like you've ascended to a higher a higher reality. You've like consciously filtered out the residual of the old, so now you are ready to exist in the new. Yeah, two of wands, like I said, there's that there's that two paths, right? You've already made your path. You've picked up your wand. You showed the path you wanted. You made it for yourself. Oh, wow. Not only did you make it for yourself, but you have also provided like, oh, I love that. I love that. That's an equal exchange, right? Like, so you did this really intense work to push through and make a way out of no way to a better life, a better world, a better reality, a higher vibrational experience, an expression and experience that is closer to love and closer to God one that is not so separated from source and filled with delusions and illusions and traps and snares oh you have freed you have cleansed I love that your kids are going to be blessed this is like um, the generations that come after you will not inherit the same sins that you inherited it's a metaphorical way of trying to like Explain the energy I'm getting. You've cleansed and released a lot. Yeah. Nine of Pentacles. And you're going to be blessed for this. I'm getting the energy of like you will always have more than enough for what you need and then some. And it's because of the work you did within. Within yourself. I don't feel like you maybe really fully realize how potent and powerful you are. And I mean, you had good, honest, loving intentions doing it, but you might not have been realizing you were doing a little more than just healing and transmuting and dealing with life in yourself. You're a big, big energy. You embody a lot of light. So you were transmuting a lot of uh, like collective, ancestral, solar, galactic... <laughs> biological like all the all the energies you were you're a conduit of the change 
you're about to be blessed because you're going to see the change that you allowed within you to manifest around you and even in the hearts and minds and eyes of others. And those that are not making that change are simply going to leave. They're going to fall away. I get that. Like, I'm, I'm getting, like, eerie, like, oh, man, you might really be in a different timeline right now, whoever I'm talking to. Like, your neighbors are nicer. They're, like, uh, little things. Like, you might notice it. Like, the air feels different. The energy feels different. Like you, the, the neighbors around you, their whole energy is different. The vibe of the block is different. Like you, you step out into the grocery store and you feel it's different. Like it's everywhere you go. It's like, am I in a new world? Yeah, you are. You've jumped. You've made a huge jump. Okay. So what else? Like now that this jump and like we're releasing all this and all this is falling behind, what's, what's ahead? Oh, the hermit. I love that. <laughs> What's ahead? Everything you hold within. Wow. Because you doing this, it is blocked an attempt that came in to stop you. There was an individual that was responsible for trying to like... I don't really understand their mindset. Like, I do and I don't. <sighs> Individuals just need to heal. But, okay. So, anyways, all this work that you did, it stopped a timeline from occurring. You essentially avoided a tower. Um, and then you shifted the energy, and now the tower is happening differently. Someone was trying to cause you a situation to where they would be able to somehow steal something of you, steal your light, steal your life, steal your happiness, your joy, take it from you, whether it was so they could have it or just simply so you wouldn't. It feels spiteful. It feels hateful, whatever this energy is, but you've already shifted this. What I'm sensing right now, and that's why it's hard for me to tap into it is because I'm sensing an energy that's already eclipsed out of your life because you've shifted out of that timeline. But I'm telling you, before you made this timeline jump, there was a little page with some a little idea in their head that they were going to do some F shit to try to stop you. And you went within and you purged, transmuted, cleansed, and it completely put a halt to that. You shifted to a whole new timeline where you brought a tower to that kind of energy and you forced them to go their own way. They can't touch you. Yeah, we had the Nine of Pentacles, Six of Wands coming out again with this Five of Pentacles. And then the Five of Wands. You have successfully out-vibed a lot of lower vibrational energies. And it has essentially, you've shedded that energetic skin out of your aura. You've got some individuals that are really like confused <laughs> that's just the best way to explain it you've got some individuals very confused and kind of feeling in the dark about what the hell is really going on i like to them it's like you pulled a fast one they were so focused on this and they had their whole idea that this was going to be your life this was your goal so they're going to do this to stop it and sabotage it like this and they had this all planned out in their head but you don't even exist in that timeline. You don't exist in that reality. You like quantum leaped up and over their heads. And they're scratching like, what just happened? And now all that energy, because it can't go to you because you eclipsed out of it, they're stuck in that. And now there's like different timelines going on. There's the timeline you left and that one's darker for those energies you left behind. Then there's the timeline you're in and it's just like, I don't really, it, it's weird. It's almost like, maybe it's because we're still in this portal 
the Stargate portal with the um the Sirius and the Sun and then Orion and then us. And we're all in alignment. We're kind of going through this Stargate. So I don't know. It's it's weird. It's like you're you're in the new world, but I can still kind of sense residual of the other, but it's falling away. And I feel like you still have an opportunity to continue to make multiple leaps and jumps even from here. I don't feel like you're done leaping. I don't feel like you're done jumping. That's why I'm like, I try to feel a little bit about this timeline. I'm like, you ain't even staying in this timeline. <laughs> you about to jump through another timeline. Like, you're not done. Okay. Yeah, you're just entering a new journey in life and you're leaving the conflict and war behind you. Those old cycles, like old paradigms, it's it's fallen. And this also has to do with like all oh, that like it's like um light structures or phantom light structures of mind that used to exist can no longer exist. Because the foundation has already been exposed and it's already been burnt down and fallen for new righteous pillars of light to rise in its place. Therefore, the whole like paradigm and matrix that an individual was previously working in doesn't even exist anymore. So they got to get right. I hope that makes sense. All right. Harvesting of rewards, 24 Mm-hmm. And then restraint or end to a conflict. 13 again. Fork in the road. 13. 13 came out again in a different deck. Restraint or end to the conflict. That's the fork in the road. They thought they were going to come. They thought they were going to be able to halt your path, keep you in a spot, go in a different... Like, they had this whole game effed up, and you really switched up on them. They were not expecting this. But that's because they don't know how to think like you. They don't think outside the box. This is that truth and justice. This is a righteous ending and beginning. Change in circumstances. Three. Three energy is really big in this. So is four and six. And yes, four and six does break to a ten. Which that energy is in this too. I heard y'all. I heard y'all talking to me, breaking down the numbers. All right. Let's go ahead. Let's see what else you would like the collective to know because I'm curious. This seems like such a big... Oh my gosh. Like you're not done doing whatever this reading is. It's like I can't even complete this reading until you're done shifting. But you have accomplished some pretty substantial um, leaps and bounds. Once in a lifetime at the bottom of the deck. This may be like a once in a lifetime opportunity for you to make this big of a shift. To make this big of a jump. I mean this 8-8 eight, eight portal is an uh, extra potent portal. Okay. So I could definitely see how maybe this is a rare and unique opportunity for all of us to really elevate ourselves and our lives. We can completely purge and reset and jump and go to whole new worlds within ourselves right now because everything's in alignment. We got famous star status coming out and then we got spell work backfired. Did it work? Wah, wah. Yeah, we kind of know that though because you out vibed it. Like they tried to like, <laughs> it's like you collapsed the timeline that that was even existing on. Like, uh, no, that's not happening. A new leader. Famous star status and a new leader. Wow, some of you might be making some serious leaps and bounds that is going to elevate your entire life, okay? Now, with this famous star status, I do feel very strong that that is literally in the energy. But for others of you, I understand that not many people really want to be famous. And I completely understand. But... If God wants you to shine, you will shine. It's kind of that energy. You got your free will. You cannot answer the call, of course. No one's going to force you to do anything. But 
it would be in your best interest not to go against the calling, right? So for some of you, yes, I'm getting like, you might be getting like internet famous or online famous. For some of you, this has to do with your music or a book. For others of you, I'm really just getting, um, the people who know you know you are a powerful trendsetter and trailblazer and a leader. They might not tell you this. They might not want it. And it's kind of like they don't want to give you the credit or satisfaction. Like there is that energy of like some individuals don't want to fully acknowledge you because in a way then they'd have to like come to terms with other things. So it's easier not to. But secretly they see it. They acknowledge it. They, they, they recognize it. Yeah. Yeah, that's sponsor or collaborate. For some of you, you may actually have a famous individual that is willing to sponsor and collaborate with you that is going to completely elevate your career or your path or something that you have been um, working on or you have a talent for it or you have been hoping for. Yeah, again, name is cleared. That came out twice. Back to back. No other card came in between this showing itself twice consistently. Your name is cleared. So I feel like this has to do with all of the attacks, all of the attempts of gossip, of slander, of running your name through the mud, of the pe all these like, I mean, it's crazy. The organization of the enemy has been wild sometimes. I mean, they really just be doing the most. And the good thing is, you know, it doesn't matter. Your light speaks for itself. Your truth, your authenticity, your shine. Man, you purged and liberated yourself from those lies. All you got to do is not lie. And then when someone else lies on you, it doesn't really matter. A new life. Yeah, this is a new life. And you know what? This name is cleared. I feel like this has to do with some kind of spiritual court decision matter. And it's going back to this timeline jump and then this whole thing where I said individuals are being forced to show their true colors around you. Like they are not allowed to cloak themselves. They are not allowed to con like conceal themselves around you anymore. Um, and it's because like energetically your name has been cleared. So whatever the hell they thought that they were just... Whatever they used to justify what they were doing, yeah, that's been debunked and it's been proven illegitimate and that you are actually innocent and there is no reason for you to be experiencing any of this. So if they're going to come towards you at all, they better come fucking correctly. Damn. All right. Yeah. Karmic debts paid. That's what I'm talking about. Name is cleared. Karmic debts paid. Okay. All right, so y'all doing really big things. This is a big shift, a big jump, and I don't, again, I really don't feel like I can fully complete this reading because you are not done doing the work. This portal ain't closed. You got more to go. Yeah, a powerful group. And I saw that collaboration and a sponsor earlier. It just seems like, you know, some of you are manifesting really big things and you're about to attract your true soul tribe. Like, I mean, some of you have got some, like, brilliant ideas, or you got a brilliant mind, or you have some kind of passion or a project, or you, you got these ideas, or you, whatever it is, you're about to meet the exact people you would want to meet for those kind of things to get off, take off on the ground. And for some of you, you might be collaborating with people that might even, like, you might be like, wait, me? And they're like, yeah, I, I'm going to work with you. I like this. A powerful group. I feel like you are the powerful group. Whoever I'm speaking to is a powerful group in the collective. Mission successful. Making God smile. Ancestors are proud for you. I love that. And this is after the initiation. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And that new home was at the bottom of the deck too. I kept seeing it too. So I was not ignoring it. I was not ignoring it. I'm telling you, like, you're getting a whole new life because of this. And it's all because you did the work. You healed. You healed. Like, congratulations. Hallelujah. You did the inner work. You outvibed the devil. Galactic Federation is the very first card out here. Yep. 
and crystal. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're out here doing the thing, the the big thing, the big galactic god thing that we came here to do from the stars. Yeah, we're bringing that down. And mission successful. And your name is cleared. Like anyone trying to say you're this or you're not this. Yeah, that's all bullshit. Because people need to really understand the truth. And God is illuminating like a fire on the earth that needs to be like the truth is being revealed. Your truth, my truth, his truth, her truth, the truth, the absolute truth. That's what's being revealed. Anything that's not that is falling away. It's withering away. It's getting burnt to a crisp. It's being turned to ash. And the people that used to stand on the foundation are looking around like, what the hell happened? They're all covered in soot and they're trying to figure out like, man, where the, what the hell? Didn't, didn't I have a couch right here? Where'd that go? Nope. Not no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's the thing. Like. I feel like some of you actually, all right, this part won't be for everyone. I'm sorry. It's just, it's not. But for those of you that know you were taking on a coven head on, or you were taking on an organized cult or some kind of like, I mean, this could even go to like secret societies or whatever. You would know if you feel like you've been single handedly coming against something like that. Oh my God. Gosh, have you put them in their place with this jump? This last thing you just did, this last jump you just did, this last meditation you just did, this last astral travel, like, I don't know what the fuck y'all did, but it was intense. For some of y'all, I'm getting like your body was hot, you were feeling charges and pulses for, through your body, like, I'm, I'm getting like powerful activations and energies. Some of y'all immediately saw signs that something happened whenever you put this intention out. You could have just said something and you were like, oh, like, yeah, our words are powerful, y'all. Our words are very powerful. And I'm seeing that someone in the collective has literally dismantled a powerful group. Oh, yeah, we're so powerful. We do <laughs> hide in the dark with our robes. Like, no, you're not fucking powerful. The stars, that's the power. Mm -hmm. The light, the truth. Let me show y'all some. Oh, you think you doing? Uh-uh. Watch this. I got some I got some new like eighth dimensional magic from like a star system y'all ain't ever heard of. You ain't even seen someone work energy like this. Let me show y'all some. Let me show y'all what my ancestors taught me in my dream state. Watch this shit. Bow. You're in a new world. Mhm. Mm yeah. There's that Archangel Jophiel. She's been coming out a lot. There's been a lot of work on heart space, on joy, on love, on surrendering and releasing any kind of resentment, bitterness. I mean, look, oftentimes we will think we forgave, but have you truly forgave? It's almost like forgiveness can sometimes have layers to it. You have to forgive all the different parts of it. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to work through. You got to let it go. You got to feel it and you got to release it and then you got to replace it with love. All right, so there's been a lot of that going, and I feel a lot of joy is coming in. And oh my gosh, key holder that came out in that exact order in my life. Jophiel, key holder, and Apollinian. Wow. Okay, so some of you guys are receiving messages straight from source. Straight from source. You've already proven. Like I'm getting like some of y'all. Your shit's so lit up. You practically got a crystal ball in your dome. Mm hmm. Keeper. Key holder and the keeper. Damn. Oh. Some of you have ascended so high, you now have the authority to determine what is allowed in or out of your life. You hold the key and the gate to your reality and your life, to your vessel, to your home, to your energy. That's a blessing. That's a big blessing. For others of you, straight up. You guys are key holders and gatekeepers to new earth. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, got it. So the, the righteous will rule. Meek will inherit. We are inheriting and beginning our rule. That's powerful. I'm getting some of you guys really do have the power to take someone to the others. Yeah, to the new earth, to the new world. Some of you are the bridge. Wow. Interesting. Okay, moving forward. 
Um, the energy that I just got was someone's iris is a portal. Which I feel like all of ours are. But something specific about um, what this connected to. And how what you were able... It's like, oh my gosh. You bring light through your eyes into the world around you that can shape the lives and reality for others too. Something about like you are the... I don't know how to even... I gotta sit on that one, y'all. To be continued, I suppose. And basically, the way I got it was I, I had Rainbow Bridge, then Iris, and then New Earth, and then you being the gatekeeper and the key holder, and then the link is in your eye. It, so, whatever. We're just going to leave that at that. I'm not going to speak on something I don't fully understand. Moving forward, light worker. Okay, so we're just essentially doing the work. You know, we've got the gods and goddesses out here, crystalline grid, Arcturian, and we've got channel. Many of you guys have already passed. We saw that after the initiation card. This is after the initiation. You guys have already been proven to be worthy of these gifts. There are massive activations that are occurring. You're going to be getting a lot more powerful gifts. They're coming through because your name has been cleared. A lot of people, I feel like, you know, there's been some weird shady shit going on. It don't matter. It's too late. It's over. It's gone. You out vibed it. It's eclipsed out your life. I'm going to go ahead and leave this reading here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you on the next collective message.